this video I'm going to show you some of the benefits to working with Plant 3D's automated PNID drawing tools. Okay, so here we have a PNID which is starting to be populated. I'm just going to switch my workspace to a PNID workspace here. And you see that I get all my PNID tools at the top, and it takes me automatically to the model space. Uh, okay, so what I want to do now is place a line on this vessel here. So I'm going to give it a line number, well, a size, I should say. Let's say six. I'm going to give it a, a spec. Let's say CS. Let's go for 300. Okay. And then I'm going to draw the line. Okay. I'm going to click on and snap to the vessel. You can see the flow arrows placed on automatically for me. I'm just using the other items to guide the start and end points of my line. You can see that the flange nozzle is placed automatically. It's labelled the nozzle N5. So that's perfect. If I wanted to reverse the flow, I could right click and reverse the flow. But I'm happy actually with the way it was going. Okay. If I wanted to place a valve, I would change my Change my tool palette here to all palettes. There we are, we opened up, we've got equipment, we've got lines, we've got valves, we've got spec components, but that's 3D stuff again. So coming back to valves, I'm gonna pick a ball valve and pop it on here. Okay. And you can see it's labeled it with a six inch because it's on a six inch pipe and it's also given it the next inline tag. So it's verifying my design for me as I go. Let's say I've decided to, to move that valve. I could move it onto a vertical line instead of a horizontal and it rotates automatically for me. I can swap the type of valve, maybe a gate valve quite easily using the arrow at the bottom here, back to a ball valve. Okay, so that's quite useful. I come to my fittings tab. I've got concentric and eccentric reducers. So if we go for a concentric and I'll pop it on here. What you can see is it says six inch to six inch at the moment. Let's say I change this side to yeah to an eight inch. Oops. I give it a service. Let's just go with uh, drain and the line number, say one, two, 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 and assign. All right, so you can see that actually the valve has switched over, or the reducer, sorry, has switched over there. So if I change that back again, the sign tag, actually, I wanted it to be four inch. We can see if I click assign, it flips back around for me. If I want to place the tag, I can just click place a tag and it will place the tag, the line tag that is on the line. I can do it over here as well. Right click, sign tag and place it over here. Perfect. So that's some of the benefits you get with PNID. Once we save this and come to our piping, you'll see that if I switch my workspace back to 3D piping and I find my vessel, nope. Ah, I'll just pipe it from anywhere for now, don't need to find the vessel. What I'm going to do is load my PNID line list and there's my line. So I can place and there's my 4 inch pipe 
and there's my six inch pipe so I can first of all place my six inch pipe I'll just place it somewhere over here okay that and then I can place my ball, my ball valve and pop that on there yep if I hover over you can see it's all tagged up for me perfect and I can place my four inch pipe now on here and you'll see that the reducer is placed on there as well okay so please feel free to contact my machine if you have any more questions thanks for watching bye